we can't put an army unit together after eight years, why do we think we're going to have any better luck in the next eight years, or the next ten years, the next fifty years? Let's face it. This is this is Vietnam Redux. You know, when when Nixon wanted to get out, he said, "We're going to train the locals. We'll train them up. We'll leave, and things will be just fine in Afghanistan." Well, mm -hmm. they're not. I mean, we don't have the political leadership to build an army around it. It just is not going to happen ever, ever, ever. We've spent more than eight years trying to build a national army in Afghanistan. It hasn't been for lack of trying. It hasn't been for lack of money. What it's been for is lack of soldiers who believe in the nation that we intend to create. They believe in some nation, but it's not the one we intend to create. Mm -hmm. um, they, they look at us as outside forces, uh, colonial forces, if you like, and, and no one is ever going to rally around that national army which we create. And that is the reason why there is not a single effective unit in Afghanistan that can operate on its own. The facts on the ground are that he is looked at as a quizzling, as a, a creation of the United States, as a creation of the Bush administration, and he has no legitimacy in Afghanistan, uh, it, it, you know, except within his clan and a, and a couple of allied clans. He has no legitimacy. He's not looked at as the legitimate president of Afghanistan, which puts us in the role of becoming, or we are already, occupiers. It, it is Vietnam because what we're fighting in Afghanistan is not terrorism, but it's a war of national resistance. And the people that want their country liberated from the West have nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. They simply want us gone because we're foreigners, and they're rallying around the Taliban because the Taliban are experienced, effective fighters. I mean, they're, they're using Islam as a cohesive element to hold this resistance together. This war in the last eight years has gone from, uh, you know, hunting Al-Qaeda, driving them out of the country, to a war of national liberation that we're fighting against.